I think retail sales could be a little light, but they could surprise to the positive because the one thing we're getting all year here is the consumer won't fall off that cliff like many, many have predicted. Uh, you know, the death of consumer is greatly exaggerated here, and some of those holiday sales may have been moved up a little bit uh, into last month, which would be good and not expected positive for that number. Now, what's crazy is if you look at holiday sales this year, the estimate is $966 billion, an all-time record high. So we're anticipating going to the holiday season this year that the consumer is going to spend. And I think that has to do with the fact that you have a tight labor market. Disinflation is here. Uh, we thought that PPI number that should come in light, just like the inflation number did yesterday, which caught a lot of investors off guard with a lot of, I would say, short covering. Uh, so this is kind of what we've expected all year. Adam and I have been talking about it. We just haven't believed that the consumer is going to fall off a cliff. Um, and it's all coming to fruition, not to take a victory lap because that would be dangerous. Would you would you buy retail here? How do you want to invest? I mean, Dow Industrial was up almost 500 yesterday, and we're seeing that continue this morning. In November alone, the Nasdaq was up almost 8 percent, the S&P up 6 percent. Nice little mini rally just in November. Yeah, and markets are still cheap. Like if you literally look at uh, the mega cap names uh, right now, I mean, if you take them out of the S&P 500, I've talked about this a lot. Valuations right now are historically normal, like 14, 15 times forward earnings. Earnings. So right now you have a gift from the guys. I've been saying cash is trash. I know you're getting 5%, but the Fed cuts next year. You're not getting that 5% anymore. Meanwhile, markets are on sale. Uh, they're starting to rally hard here and bodes well again for next year.